Hi, this is Julie with Beta Holly, and today I want to show you a really simple way of doing an over-under wire wrapped basket weave pattern. I have a couple examples here. Um, I created this form myself. I probably going to turn this into a pendant or a necklace, and I used a silver base with rose gold wire. And I've got pretty tight wraps here. It was just this over-under technique that I'm going to show you. And then here in this other sample. I have a weave which is a little bit more spread out and I'll show you how to create that variation as well. And here I have tight little coils. I just want to show you if you don't have a really big gap what it ends up looking like. So we have another video on beetaholic.com showing how to do like a figure eight basket weave pattern. It's very similar in this technique. I just find this one a little bit easier because I've got this little tip to teach you where instead of starting with two wires you start with one bent in half and then what happens is you can always cut this later if you wanted it to be two wires, but this stabilizes your work as you go. So it's much easier than starting with two wires. So if you could get away with that in your project, I highly recommend it. But I want to show you how to do it here where you come to a point and you have the entire form wire wrapped. So I'm going to try to use some contrasting wire colors here so you can see what's happening. I'm not going to make a project. I just want to show you the technique. So I'm going to start with one wire and then this is 18 gauge that I'm using. I would recommend 18 or 20 for your frame, and then I've got 28 gauge for my actual basket weave. And of course, how much wire you need is gonna pertain to how big your project is and how long your wire is. So I'm just gonna make a simple V shape to start. So we've got a nice V. I'm not gonna worry about finishing the ends. But I just wanna show you how to do this. So take your 28 gauge wire, and for this, you're gonna start at the bottom. Now, if you were doing something like this where you eventually want it to be two wires, but you're gonna start with one, you would start up here. You wouldn't start down at the bottom. But since we're doing it to show you how to create this point, I'm gonna start down here. So I'm holding the tail, a short tail of wire in my hand. I've got the long end here, and I'm gonna create a number of wraps to wrap that bottom section. And I'm just taking my wire, going up over the form, through the U shape of my outer wire, and just going back and forth, just wrapping it around. And I wanna cover that tip, and my goal is to end up on the side where I can then go back and forth. Okay. All right, so that feels good on that end. I'm gonna take my little tail and make this end match. By having a tw an 18 gauge wire as your form, the outer wire, it's nice and stiff. It's not gonna bend out of shape too much. So it'd be harder to do if say you had like a 22 gauge wire or something as the form and then you were trying to do it with 24 gauge wire. That math just doesn't really add up. Okay, so that's about right. I'm gonna snip off this tail and fold it over to the back side and pinch my coils down so they're nice and tight. All right, so this is an over under basket weave. So that's basically all you're doing is what the name sounds like. You're going over your outer edge and under the opposite side. and you're coming up to where you left off with your wire wrapping. Now, you need to create an anchor. So what you wanna do is you wanna go around the wire that you just went under at least once and come back up top. So now, again, now at this point we're going over this one, so we need to go under the opposite side one. and around again because we need that anchoring row to stabilize it, otherwise it's gonna look really messy. So now on this side, we're back to being over. So then we go under, and around, and then we're over, and then we go under. So over, under, over, under. Just make sure that each time you do stabilize your wire, by going around the exterior wire at least once. Okay. 
back and forth. And as you go, check your work if you need to scoot your wires down a little bit. Now, of course, if you had gold on gold, you wouldn't see the little gaps between. But I did want to show you with contrasting colors here. So, so over, under, And just be consistent. If you do one wrap around the exterior wire to anchor it on this side, make sure you do one wrap on this side and keep doing that same on both sides all the way up and uh, until you're done with your piece. That way you'll have nice, consistent, a nice consistent weave. All right, so that's with just one wrap. You can see what we got. Now on this one, we have a much wider space between them. And that was just created by doing more than one wrap around the side. So I want to show you how to do that. So let me just finish this wrap. So I went over, under, I'm going to go around this side. And there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. And I'm pushing them down each time to make sure they're nice and tight. So now over and under back to where my coils were, so it's consistent. So now I wanna do four here too. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. So on that fourth one, I'm up to going over, so now I go under. So one, two, I'm pushing them down, three, and four. Whoops, did I miscount? Nope, that's four. Okay. Be careful that you don't miscount. And then back. So that's over under. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you can see now our weave is getting a lot wider. And that's all there is to it. When you're done with it, just Make sure you do some anchor wraps to secure it. And then you can snip it off. So that is how you do an over under basket weave. And now just to show you how you would start it, if you want something like this, you would have your wire, you would create your V, and then you try to, instead of having it be a sharp V like this, you try to make it as much like that as possible. So you want these to look more parallel. And you'd probably straighten your wire and do all that good stuff, but I just want to show you really quickly in this video how to do this. You're just going to take your wire, instead of starting it down at the bottom, you're going to start it at a point where your two wires are parallel. And you're just going to wire wrap it a couple times around one side. Scooch those coils together. Okay, and now you're going to do the same technique. And you can make these really tight together. You can make them a little further apart. You can do whatever your design calls for. But we're going to do the same thing where it's over and then under and then an anchor. And if you want to do one, you want to do two, you want to do three, however many you want. And then go back. So there you just went over, now you're going under again to this side. Create at least that one anchor. There you go. You're just going to go back and forth, scooch them together as you go so you have nice tight wraps. And eventually, if you keep doing that, you will end up with something that looks like this. And then you can just cut this as if you had two wires to start with. But by doing it with the little curve in the middle and one wire, it's actually a lot easier to hold on to and they don't wobble as much which is a lot less frustrating. So that is how you do the over under basket weave pattern in wire wrapping. 
So I hope that helped you and gives you some inspiration of projects that you can do on your own.